Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing 22,000.1 subscribers in less than a year. Oh my goodness. Thank you. If you haven't already had all the prison genre YouTube channels, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have them smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons Mel Adjusted, Bankroll Suave, Mickey Bats, Carmine the Pitbull, American Mestizo. Lori 559CO, Ruben Cornbread Killer, Herbuma AZ, CJ Zavalza, EOP Whisper, No Cracks Bitch, Las Vegas Flights Live, Gavino, Give Me Two Good Costs, <coughs> Priya These Nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Bond, La Reina Don't Trip, Winston, Tony, Trailero 760, Breathing Underwater, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead With Love, Albert 12, AI Vega, Esquiel, Grumpy Raider, Big Bad 48, JT, Nova, Linda, Armando, I believe that's Irma, I believe that's Journey, the retired CEO, Michigan Wolverines, Mikey 559, the homie Marius, Chevelle 66, Gigi, and Dal Sorrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, you are not being up to date on current things in the California prison system. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. This motherfucking episode right here, man. Everywhere I go, people want to know. So I tell them, what the hell? <sighs> they be asking. People get misconstrued. People get misconception. People get misconceived. People get misre misrepresented. Hector, how do you feel about <laughs> the the YouTube channels that are dropouts? We call them the dropout YouTube channels. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I'm like, you know what? I'll answer your question. Right. I'll answer your question. I said, I don't pay attention to that. Right. Meaning, I don't research people's past. I don't dive into their fucking files. I don't. I'm not. Look. Your boy's walking through life, right? Just putting one foot in front of fucking the other. Whoever I cross paths with, they're either a good person, a bad person, um, a vindictive person, but that goes with bad. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm walking, right? I see, okay, this person's going to cause me harm. This person's not going to cause me harm. All right, I'm just walking, but I'm observant. I don't fucking dial, del delve into BS, gossip, rumors. Um, here's the reason why. If you don't know, then you don't know. Meaning, and I've and I and I've said it on numerous fucking episodes, man. If you ended up on sensitive needs yard or protective custody. It does not mean that you had bad, that you, uh, it does not mean that, um, fuck, I should have blown my nose before this fucking episode. Hold on. It does not mean that, um, Spencer. Damn. There we go. Not edited. The hell? That you were, that you were like fucking. Let me put it this way. Lots of people end up on SNYR because of political bullshit reasons, right? You guys already know this. Let's say, and I'm going to give you an example of what's happening right now. Of what's happening right now. This is a good example. The North and the South. Who care? At this point, I don't care. If they go to war or they don't, it's irrelevant. Prison isn't prison anymore. Period. I said it. What if you have a little young Norteño wearing red, man? Motherfucker has a Huelga bird. Motherfucker has a 14, a Cartorce. Motherfucker has Sanjo. He has a shark and a pit bull fighting each other tattoo. That's how down he is for the North, right? Or Bulldog, the Spencer. And this fool's about it, man. He's with the business. 
And they tell him, hey, man, stand down. Stand down. I know your homie. I know your, I know your homie just got blasted over there by the opposition, but stand down. He could probably be like, wait a minute, man. I don't want to play this game. This is not what I signed up for. Man, you just sold a homie out for a cell phone. You can do the same to me. Oh, they're going to do the same to you. Oh, no, I'm, I, I, I refuse to participate in this bullshit-ass program. I'm out of here, right? My mother goes, hey, Sarge, I don't want to be here. These guys are a bunch of fucking lames. Levas, culeros, de la verga, putos. Fucking, I can't even say 14 anymore because you guys disgust me, man. I'm asco, putos. Right, did that make that guy uh, any less of an individual? That fool just doesn't want to play anymore. That, doesn't, that fool doesn't want to participate in that bullshit anymore, right? Same can go for me as a CO, sergeant, lieutenant. I joined the prison system thinking, not, I didn't want to assert myself over people. Uh, your boy's not built like that. Your boy didn't get bullied as a kid. Your boy didn't have uh, self-esteem issues. I'm actually, I think, very highly of myself. I know you do, kid. <laughs> You're doing fucking great. 22,000 subscribers, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that, dad? <laughs> Pretty damn good, son. I'm not going to lie. But uh, <laughs> I got to tell you guys something. My wife has been out of town for like a week and a half, right? They went to fucking Hawaii without me. I've been playing with dolls. I've been playing with mustaches. I've been role playing. There's a reason why I need to have a woman in my life to keep my ass in check and sane, right? There's a reason why I, by myself, I just wild out, right? I can't. Your boy needs some type of authority figure over his ass. Chimandilon, culero. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I do weird shit when I'm by myself. <laughs> the fuck? Maniaco me las asco, right? <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying. I joined the prison system because I thought it was going to be interesting. Motherfucker, you know what I don't find interesting? <laughs> COs. COs pushing inmates around in wheelchairs. Right? I remember when I got to from Sentinel to Donovan, they're like, the warden's like, oh, yeah, you're going to push an inmate in a wheelchair. I'm like, the hell I am. I'm not fucking doing that. And I swear, I'm, I swear, never did it. Never did it. What heck are you, you? What's wrong with that, man? Now you're picking on the crippled. I'm just not going to do that. I have no intention. Don't want to. I promoted a sergeant. Didn't have to. Hey, you young CO. Push that motherfucker back to the building. Right. That's how I got out of it. <laughs> motherfucker, go play foosball with that guy. Hey, hey, Lieutenant Bravo, go tell your officers to go play foosball. Fuck you. You go play fucking foosball, you fucking idiots, buffoons. Right. <laughs> hey, uh. We're about to have a basketball game between the inmates and the staff. Yeah, okay, good. I'm going to call in sick that day. Later. I'm going to go to the zoo. Have fun. Don't break an ankle. Literally. <laughs> now, you guys know it's not because I hate inmates. Or it's not the reason that I... It's because you just don't... You got you got inmates murdering each other right now at a number of records. Um, and I want to add something real quick. I know I've gotten off the topic drastically, horribly. But let's think about who the South organization. I'm just going to throw this in there. If I don't throw it in there, it's not going to be juicy. Sometimes I get close to the line. Or I get close to the line. Let's think about who the organization for the South has brutally, brutally fucking stabbed since they've been out of the shoe. Just for record, historical purposes, um, there was the Pelican Bay assault on correctional officers that, fuck, they, they shot like six or seven fucking Sureños with a Mini-14. That was huge. Bravo Yard. That was massive. One attack. Now, let's talk about the good old attack at Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility on August of 2020. I forget the year. They all blend together. I try to erase it from my memory. That was huge. I seen those officers. Right. So you have the organization from the South blasting cops like it ain't a thing, man. Whack, whack, whack. Then you had the incident in Salina Valley with, with the OG Crip. They sent some they sent some shooters on that fool. Because now you attack Green. Now you attack the Crips. 
Now you attack some dude in the north. My are throwing his buddies in a freezer. Here you go, fucking Swanson ice cream. Now you attack the north. I didn't. I just had to say that for you guys to see it. That's crazy, G. The fuck, my are going around stabbing everybody. Right, stabbing everybody. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate getting stabbed, period. Or shot or blown up by a roadside bomb, which I can't hear out of my right ear as a result. The homie right here takes my joke so serious. He wants to joke around. And then when I joke right back at him, motherfucker turned into a culero. Well, let me tell you something. This whole episode was, how do you feel about dropout YouTube channels? Okay. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, they're with the business. When the business kind comes to being handled, I guarantee you that. I guarantee you they're a bunch of fucking killers. I guarantee you. Right? I don't know them. I never met them like that. Like, I. I guarantee you, when push comes to shove, they motherfuckers ain't gonna lay down and die. <laughs> oh, you, you got me, fellas. You got me. I'm a dropout. I ain't got nothing left in me. The tank is empty. No, man. Motherfuckers are killers, right? Now, let me tell you something else, man. A lot of people's gangsters are about to be tested, right? You think you're active on a GP yard? You think you're gangster? Your gangster is about to be tested. This is the message of the day. You wear your color. You represent your hood. You're indoctrinated into beliefs, a system. Okay. But when you face fucking reality, right, and your ass is locked in a, locked in a freezer, or you're doing the locking of a freezer, and then you really think about it. What are we doing this for, man? You can get got for the littlest. Again, I'm not going to dive into politics. That's not my lane. I, I could literally give care less, man. It's not, as, as my mom would say, not my, not my monkey, not my circus. You guys better open your fucking eyes. You guys better open your eyes to who's with the business, who's not with the business, who you think you are by calling people dropouts. Um, well, you'll never see me rub elbows with a child molester, right? That's right. Off the top, you ain't going to see that, right? You ain't never going to see me. And then uh, somebody's bamboozled me, which I don't think they have, and I don't think they will. Um, not going to happen, right? Because I have my own moral values, beliefs, honor system, ethics, and code. You tell me. A dropout, a person who PCs up. Are they any less of a threat? Are they any less of a killer? No, man, you could tell. You could tell. <clears throat> and again, again, I can't. I, I, I'm almost getting tired of repeating myself. You need to stop fucking focusing on the bottom, right? Pawns versus pawns. And focus on the top. You know who loves this drama? Oh, look. Look, Bill, they're calling each other dropouts and rats. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're fucking con conniving, lining their pockets, doing all kinds of greedy-ass, unethical shit, right? Let's move one of these over here. Yeah, they're little... You guys are fucking pawns. Knock it off. Pay attention. With that, keep pushing forward. 